What's up, and Welcome to my channel. So I want to show you how to make one of my favorite side dishes for this holidays, candy jam. So let's get started. All right, guys. So I'm going to start by peeling five sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, jams, guys, is all the same. All I know is that my candy jams are going to be so good. That glaze that we're going to make, guys, is going to be extra special. So make sure you stay until the end of the video so you can see this whole process, how easy it is. So after peeling your sweet potatoes, you're going to cut them into about one inch round. Don't cut them any thinner because they can just break down in the sauce. So just keep them nice and thick and then you're going to give this a nice rinse you're going to get rid of any starch that is in your sweet potato and when you finish girl you're going to get any pot that you want i'm going to use my caldero and we're going to start making that delicious glaze that i was talking to you about so i have my heat on medium and i already have one stick of butter melting after that i added my sugars my brown sugar my white sugar some cinnamon and i added some pumpkin spice girl oh this is one of the ingredients that make this glaze so special i also added my vanilla some maple syrup Mm, another key ingredient and we're going to add some salt to this salt is just going to bring down all of the flavors of this amazing spices we put in here i also went in and i grated some freshly ground now make it doesn't have to be freshly grated it just it tastes better so after that you're going to go ahead and mix all of this up at this point you're already smelling all of the spices we put here it smells amazing and then you're going to add your sweet potatoes to your pot and you want to make sure you mix the sweet potato in girl you want to show that that glaze is all on the sweet potatoes i also added about one third of a cup of water and then I'd let the sweet potato comes to this beautiful boil you see here. And then when the sweet potatoes have reached this boil, you want to lower your heat. So I started on medium. I'm going to lower to low medium. And then you're going to cover this up so the sweet potatoes can cook. But then when you cover it, you're going to leave a little bit of the lid open. Meanwhile, you're going to keep stirring this on the side. When you stir this, just be very careful not to break your sweet potatoes. So just, you know, just move it around on the side. And then you're going to cover this up and you're going to cook this until the sweet potatoes are nice and soft. All right, me hint this. So after 15 minutes, my sweet potatoes are done. I'm about to show you. So the way you can tell they're done, they're nice and soft. It just pierce that fork right into them and they break very easy. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to remove my sweet potatoes from my caldero. And as you can see, they look so beautiful. They look nice and glistening already. Oh, I'm telling you, the aroma in my house is amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out of my pot, but I'm going to let that liquid dissolve a little bit more so it can get nice and syrupy. And obviously I'm making this in a stove top, but you can also make this in the oven. I have a video from last year that I made some delicious candy gems in the oven. So I'm going to leave the link below. Make sure you check it out. Okay, we had this. So after removing my sweet potatoes from my caldero, I put off my flame up to medium and I'm going to let this glaze cook for about five more minutes. And this is going to get nice and syrupy. You can let it cook a little bit longer if you want this to absorb a little bit more. But I'm the kind of girl that I love my candy gems to be nice and syrupy, nice and saucy. That's like the best part of the candy gems. Me gente, this candy gems came out so good. I'm telling you, I promise you, you don't need to get that thing from the can. Just get yourself some sweet potatoes, girl, and make this glaze. And I'm telling you, you're going to want to make this every year. This is the reason why this is one of my favorite side dishes for Thanksgiving, Christmas, all year round. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y buen provecho.